out of the box, Tailwind gives you an amazing assortment of different colors. In front of me, I've got Tailwind 3 open, and all of these colors are available to us, whether we are using the compiled version of Tailwind or whether we've installed it locally as an NPM or a yarn package. Using these colors are straightforward. I've got a site set up locally. I'll put a link on the screen now if you want to know how I set it up. And then inside of my code, I've got a div with BG red 500, padding of 10, and then text white. And that right there is how you can use the different colors. If it's a background, it's BG, the color name, and then the version that you want to use. So going back to the documents, there's our red, and there's the 500 right there. So that's the process to use the default colors available to you. But most people are going to have custom color palettes. How do we customize that? Or how do we rename the colors? Let's have a look. Now from this point onwards, all of our customization, we're going to do inside of tailwind.config.js. So if you don't have a tailwind.config.js, you need to get one set up. So you should see this in the root of your local project. If you don't, then head over to the docs and do a search for tailwind config.js or otherwise type in npx tailwind css init dash p and that'll create two files a post css.config.js and then the tailwind.config.js that we're going to use from this point onwards now we're going to do a couple of things for the remainder of this video first let's look at adding a new color so in this scenario we don't want to change any of the other colors we still want all of them available but we want this new color now for that, we need to go to the theme extend section. If you don't have that by default in your Tailwind file, just create it. And then inside of there, we'll create a colors entry. And then it's a simple case of a key and then that actual color value. So for me, I'm gonna call this primary and it's got a hex value of FF77E9. Right, I'll save that, that should recompile. Now back in my code editor, I'm just gonna copy and paste what I currently have. I'll give it some margin bottom. Now using that color is very straightforward. It's BG dash and then the key name for a background color. And note that VS Code has picked up this new color of mine right over there, that bubblegum color. And if we have a look on the front end, indeed there is our new color. Now you may be looking at this and thinking, well, why is this BG red 500 and yet this new one is BG primary? And that leads us to the second type of customization we can make. You may have your own build system and you may want to define the colors from say 50 through to 900, very similar to what Tailwind gives us. So in that case, if we go back to our Tailwind config file and where we had primary, I'll just copy this hex value. And now let's change from a key and a value to making this an object. And then inside we can now enter as many key value pairs as we want. And now this is going to give us two colors, BG primary 50 and BG primary 100. So we'll save that. This no longer will work, but now it'll go back to working. And straight away VS Code is picking that up for us, which is great. So that's how you can extend the color palette. What about if you want to select your own color palette? If you're not happy with all of the options and you just want to define the versions that you want. So the difference there for us is we want to get out of this extend section. So I'm gonna copy this colors object that I've got. I'll lift it out of extend and I'll paste it into the theme section. However, be aware, the moment we do this versus extend, this is now all we're gonna have as our color palettes. So the key difference here is whatever you define in theme and colors, that's all you get. And it'll override the default out of the box options. Whatever you put in extend is, as the name says, simply gonna extend what you have by default. So let's save this just so we can see. And now what I'm expecting is on the front end, BG Red will no longer work, but BG Primary 50 should still work. Indeed, there you go. And of course our text white is gone now as well. So a couple of things to be aware of. Two of the helpful classes that Tailwind gives us is transparent and current color. So if we wanna keep using that, make sure you get those two values in right there. And now really all we have to do from this point on is just simply either define our own values as we have here, if we have a custom color palette, or we can pick from the available colors that Tailwind gives us. And that's the final option we're gonna look at in this short video. The first thing we need to do though, is get the colors imported. So add that at the top of your file. That now gives us access to this colors object. 
So if we jump back into the docs and right at the top of the color section, these are the color names that we need if we want to pull these in where we define our own color system. So if we wanted slate, and let's say we want to call it gray, not slate, we'll go gray, and then we're referencing colors. So it's coming from that over there. And then we need that name. And VS Code is doing a great job here of highlighting that for me. So if I scroll down, there's slate right over there. And that's it. Now I've added gray to my color palette so I can save these changes. And I can change this BG red to be BG gray. And there you go. So that allows you to build up your own color palette, either defining your own colors or simply adding from the available color options that Tailwind gives you. Be aware that the different shades that you're seeing in front of you here, these are not generated by default. So there's no functionality where you can simply input, say, the 500 version, and then Tailwind's going to generate five down or four down and four up for you. So every single one of these hex colors you're looking at, these were added individually by Tailwind when they put Tailwind version three together. That said, there are numerous services you can use. Just jump on Google and type in tint and shade generator, and you'll find plenty of websites where you can input a single hex value and you'll get a whole bunch of shades around it. That's it. That wraps up everything for our Tailwind colors. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.